Make your own double boiler by putting a pan with water and a pan on top, putting it not too hot. Get a spoon and scoop it out into the pan and I'm also going to go get some coconut oil and then I'll tell you what after. Here's the coconut oil. It's best to use organic of everything. And then, so it's best to melt it also because it makes it soft and creamy after, like when you're going to be using it. And then I'll tell you what after this. I'm actually going to turn it down to low because it melted like instantly. And I don't want to burn it. I want to make sure it stays really low. Because if it's not all the way melted, it's still good. I had almost a full jar of this because I was just using it little by little because a little goes a long way. And this is almost empty, so I'm just going to add the rest. Try to scrape out as much as you can because shit ain't cheap. Can't get it. <sighs> then just mix it up slowly. Pretty sure this is actually good because you don't have to melt like all the chunks if it's almost all melted then it's hot enough so i'm going to take it off now i'm actually going to keep mixing it until it's like all melted but then after that i'm gonna have to cool it down i'm pretty sure you can do it in the freezer so it can be faster then once you do that you add just like your other favorite oils or essential oils so I'm going to add this one which is really good it says you can use it on your whole body I'm pretty sure so I'm going to add that and then I, all I have is tea tree oil and um, peppermint so I'll add those <laughs> I'm just going to transfer it to here because that makes more sense. Pop it in the freezer until it's solidified. It's almost done. It's done in the freezer. Oh, trying to move out of the way of the shadow. Now I'm going to put these in. I'm so excited. I should do of these. Maybe like four pumps. And uh, it's hard to do this with one hand, so I like to stop the video. Then I'll do like 15 drops of these. One, two, three. Maybe, oh yeah, 15. I was going to say maybe 14, but it dropped in. Now 15 of peppermint. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I'm going to put these in and whip it up till it's creamy. Here we go. I'm so excited. <laughs> It's already getting cooler. Yay! I would say like two to three minutes. Also, turn it up to medium high. You can see it like starting to whip. So, I think it's done. I have to try some. So good. Okay, even that little bit was like way too much, but my favorite part is it doesn't smell like shea butter anymore. It looks so good. I'm planning on putting this in my hair. Oh my gosh, I almost dropped that. My whipped body butter. It's going in the fridge. Mm, so good! Oh my gosh. Look at the bottom. Oh my gosh. A little whippy cream looking. I 
hope those little water droplets don't mess it up. <laughs> 